13th, episode 33. We don't just have one, we have two musicians back to back. We start the show out with our very first rap artist from New York City Classic. And then we go to California at 10 p.m. with sexy dollhouse Christine Faulkner. His show starts at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so check your time zone. Right here on Let's Talk About the Music. Talk Let's to you Talk then. About the Music is welcoming back Maximus on August 24th at 8 o'clock, which is also Shell's birthday celebration show. Maximus has some really cool news to share with us, so listen in only on Let's Talk About the Music starting at 8 o'clock, August 24th. Did you get the message from the girl that came to see you? I hope you understand she wasn't there to please you. Oh, no. Did you get the message from the man? Did you get the message from the child that whispered? Nothing but the truth And you know you need it Did you get the message in the word But it didn't reach you There's no purpose in the act If it didn't teach you Did you get the message from the child If this is doesn't lie Shows your co host, the top of the hour is 10 p.m. here in Tacoma, Washington. That's where I'm at. And if you don't know where that is, Google it. Take Hack. a drink. Shell should probably take an extra drink. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Shut up, Spider. <laughs> <laughs> He's out there in Ohio and he is so happy that he is in Ohio because I would have smacked him with my flip flop by now. <laughs> And uh, we have been talking to Mr. Johnny Reed in California, my kind of um, zone time. Yay. Yay. <laughs> that was enthusiastic. <laughs> hip, hip, hooray. Is <laughs> that better? Yeah, it's better. Thank you. Okay, so... Before we get into um, more questions for Johnny and uh, Spiders, this day in music, let you guys know that Marjorie Delaney, who is not just one of my friends, but also one of our proud sponsors, she's adding something different and new to her wait for to help us uh, get money here into our podcast. So she's helping her helping out. She didn't have to do this, but she's doing this. So if you guys go to the chat room or go to magical thing, magical fantasies.com or she also has a store to on there too. But if you go to her website, she's going to give off $5 off any of her product. If you can name anything from tonight's show or any from anything from the show. So if you guys go to our archive, which is on our website, 
letstalkaboutthemusic.com. Listen to all of our shows, except for episode one through three. Don't do not do those. They, they suck. <laughs> um, now we've got people listening in. Don't do it! Don't! It's okay! I will we forgive you. We hear your reverse psychology shells. We're going to listen now. I know. <laughs> don't do it! Anyway, um, if you listen in, sh- uh, she has any questions on her website about uh, the shows... If you get it right, if you want anything on her website, wants to, you know, buy anything, she's got $5 off on anything. You get the questions correctly. So That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I mean, she told me this, like, what, two days ago about it. and But, yeah, that's what she's doing. She's doing. Oh, she's doing it. She's doing it show by show. So she's starting it to the show, and moving forward. So don't listen to the shows. <laughs> my bad. My bad. <laughs> so starting from this show forward, um, she's going to take any five dollars off her, any of her product. And go to uh, metal, uh, metalfantasy.com and um, she'll have some questions on there. So you want to buy anything from her store? five dollars off on anything so thank you marjorie mm-hmm. okay so we have one more thing before i get into spiders to say mu- this day music hey someone's calling in who's calling in let's talk about the music yeah hi i'm uh, just listening to your show i got a question for johnny okay Ask him how major changes in his life changed his music. Well, that's that's a great question. And I'm sorry, what was your name? I don't know. What is my name? <laughs> I'm Al. Ooh, mystery guest. Well, uh, okay, mystery guest. Uh, no, I'm, I'm Mr. Al. Mr. Al. Mr. Al. Okay, Mr. Al. Well, okay. yeah. Uh, there have been things in my life that have changed. My, my first two albums, as I mentioned, were like a Hollywood rocker kind of a guy. It's all about, you know, meeting women, uh, you know, things like that. Getting lost in the night, that's one of my famous songs. But then uh, my daughter had a big, ac- tragic accident. She was in a car accident, went into a coma, and the uh, that coma was such so severe, they said she will never come back from it. Mm. She was on a ventilator. She couldn't breathe. She couldn't regulate her body temperature. She was in a complete coma state. Swole up into a, look like an alien. No mm. holes in her head. So this was a, a big life-changing thing for me. I thought she was had a little accident in, that uh, maybe she broke her back, and I was concerned about that. I said, well, well, did she break her back? They said, oh, we're more concerned about the brain damage. I said, brain damage? The beginning of my daughter's uh, visit in for a year, she eventually came out of the coma after four months, but then I looked at life completely different. And then that, I went on for several years. I didn't celebrate Christmas for a few years. Religious views were altered. And I wrote a, I really stayed away from a lot of things. Mm-hmm. My music started to think about just where I was at and how fragile life is. From one moment to the next, your life can just flip around and you're someplace else. That's true. And so I, I've, I've got many, many songs that, that reflect things about, like, Live for the Moment. That's one of my songs about that. I've got one of the songs that you might play later. It's called Such a Beautiful Bird. And that is actually about my daughter's whole situation. Hmm. That's a pretty cool song. But uh, many of my songs now just, just take life and just regurgitate it out and just talk about it and... Uh, like I said before, it's not that handbag you buy from uh, Kardashian or the, the Nike shoes from the Laker player. What's life about, you know? It's it's full. And uh, when I made a decision when my daughter came out of the hospital, 
I, she never lived with me. She lived with the, my previous wife. I had three wives. And I still have a third one, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, you messed up her song. I'm sorry, Shells. Yeah, uh, but no, anyway, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. But anyway, um, it, just, it just throws you a whole loop, throws you into a new segment of life, what it's all about and uh, what I do. And I said, you know what? She's going to come live with me. I'm not going to let her get cheated out of life. Now it's this day. And I try to make things good for her. Get her involved in everything. And actually, this Friday, we're going to Vegas. Nice. Cool. cool. Yeah. But she, she can't walk on her own. She needs 24-hour care. I get her out there. And so, anyway, that's changed my whole life. And her memory is, is poor, sort of like that 50 First Dates. I don't know if you ever seen that movie. Mm-hmm. Adam Sandler All- and Drew Barrymore. Right, she falls in love, and the next morning, then she comes up, who are you? That's her. That's my daughter. So she truly lives in the moment. She can enjoy, you know, we talk about it sometimes, but she truly is there. She will enjoy that that meal, that time, that laugh, that joke. And then five minutes later, she couldn't tell you what you were laughing about wow. or what you ate. So it's just a whole mind-altering thing, and so... I got tons of songs all about that. From my first one, uh, I was looking at one of my album covers, Johnny Reed Show, Take Another Road. Yeah, that was the whole thing. It's, it's, uh, that was all about sticking with my daughter. Mm. So I, I got tons of songs to believe in tomorrow, and it's going to be all right. The, the closing one of that one's kind of a Pink Floyd song. But it's going to be all right. It's just a phase you're going through. You have to continue on in life. So yeah, you do. Yeah. So that's that's what I that's what I do. A lot of my songs are focused about that. And uh, you know, in a positive way, giving somebody some reinforcement, kind of maybe sharing some of the things I went through a little bit in a fun way. Hmm. And you know, to be positive. That's all we've got is to be positive and and I really kind of stress the power of yourself. I I don't put this on anybody. I don't wait for that thing to happen for me. I do it. I'm the one that stepped up to the plate and said, she's going to live with me, and I'm going to make it happen. Mm. I'm, I'm not a genius. I'm not a superhuman person, but I said that. I'm not going to let it happen. I'm not going to be that guy that just walks by and says, oh, sorry for you. It looks like you had a bad day. Mm. Um, you know, I'm not going to be that kind of person. So I try to have her not be cheated out of life. So I, I try to re- reflect some of those things thoughts and idealisms into my song so maybe somebody will catch a little thing and maybe when they come up with that choice is presented to them in their life they'll step up to the plate and they'll say you know what I'm going to do the right thing I'm going to do the right thing for you okay okay good thanks should I get off my uh, podium now or <laughs> <Let us stop>? <laughs> <laughs> not you good very good question Al thank you appreciate that yeah yeah, yeah thanks Al good night Good night. Okay. Is it calling? And Al was our very first call in. I feel so excited. We're actually sounding like a talk show. Yes! <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, so get any further, Spider needs to do his This Day in Music. Yes. Okay, go. It's a popular segment that we do here on That Stuff About the Music on the Wednesday shows. Mm-hmm. And uh, This Day in Music in 1956... Elvis Presley's double-sided hit, Don't Be Cruel, and yes. Hound Dog was released. Mm-hmm. Um, the single went to number one on the U.S. chart, where it stayed for 11 weeks, a record that would not be broken until 1992's Boys to Men hit End of the Road. Good song. So, f- almost 40 years, just about 40 years, uh, Elvis Presley was had the record for number one on the U.S. charts. So that was on this day. Uh, What else do we have? In 1966, in this day, at a press conference held at the Astor Towers Hotel in Chicago, John Lennon apologized for his remarks that the Beatles were more popular than Jesus. I remember hearing about that. (laughs) He told the reporters, look, I wasn't saying the Beatles are better than God or Jesus. I said Beatles because it's easy for me to talk about the Beatles. I could have said TV or cinema, motor cars, or anything popular and would have got away with it. 
and it kind of ref- 